Um, we will now want their visual appearance to be dictated by their weight status. How am I going to do that? And this is going to lead up to the crowning achievement. Before the hour is up, we're going to have a model where we have interacting state charts. Suppose, though, I want their appearance visually. I want the size of the person to denote their weight status. So if they're heavier, they'll be a larger size visually. How would I do that? What's one way to do that? Ah, okay, okay. So I'm hearing some good things. We could set the scale, but how are we going to have it be a different scale that applies for each of these weight status, stati? Position and size. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, how are we get? And there's you can make those into returning from the. How did we communicate yeah. color? How did we communicate using a? Yeah, we, uh, was it a parameter? Mmm, mmm. It was an aspect of the person's state. An epiphenomenal aspect, one that wasn't affecting things, but, but it was a, a variable. So we're going to introduce a variable called scale. So, um, you know, visual scale or something like that. Um, it's going to be kind of a reporting variable. It'll be called visual scale, okay? Um, and it's going to be a double, and its initial value will be 1.0. <clears throat> and if they become overweight, but you know, it's good measure when they enter normal and underweight, let's set it. So what did I do? I just went to, ladies and gentlemen, I went to the palette, and I went to the agent area of the palette, and I went to person in this canvas, and I dragged variable over. And I, I called it visual scale, okay? And I set its initial value to 1.0. Okay? Yeah. Um, great. Next, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to go to this entry action for normal and underweight, and I'm going to set visual scale to be 1.0. Now, you could argue I don't really need to do that. Its initial value is 1.0. Um, but I would argue I do need to do it. Why is that? Well, someone may lose weight. And maybe when they first come in, it's true, it's already set to 1.0. But if they become overweight and then they lose weight, we need it to reset, reset. back to 1.0. So, so this should be 1.0. And in general, you know, good practice to try to be complete. You could look at each state, see what it is. Don't sometimes being too clever is a game of logical brinsmanship that leads to a, a war. Um, okay, so normal and underweight, the entry action is visual scale equals 1.0. For overweight, the visual scale will be 1.5, and for obese, the visual scale will be 2.0. Now I'm putting in semicolons. Why am I putting in semicolons? It's a command, indeed. It's it's a command. It's a command that I'm saying make visual scale 2.0, make visual scale 1.5, make visual scale 1.0. <coughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, are we okay with this? Okay. Now, is that thought complete? Is that chunk of work complete? No. I mean. It, it, it doesn't hurt in this case to do a build right now, just to make sure it's, it's a happy camper. But ladies and gentlemen, let's go, let's go over, we need to make what have a certain scale? The body shape, indeed. And how do we access the body shape? Well, we can click here for a while and we could probably, uh, if I click there for a while, I can actually get it. Oh my gosh, it looks like I removed the guy's head. Um, okay, yeah, that was that one of the side effects that can occur when you double click there too much. Okay, let's let's try going to here. <coughs> <coughs> and where do I go here? Uh, well, yeah, so I go to presentation, and within presentation, person, mm -hmm. 
and within that shape body and for shape body ladies and gentlemen for shape body I will set it so what what do we need to look at position and size indeed and you'll notice there's a scale X scale Y okay so we're gonna set the X scale and the Y scale to be this this thing we called visual scale so scale X will be visual scale and scale Y will be visual scale okay okay visual scale that would be the scale used are we okay with that now to be really careful and I I'm on the fence about home really we should say this dot visual scale my own visual scale okay I mean to be consistent about it we'll see this being used when we bore you know we have babies born to to mothers in the model um, we'll see how this plays a key role and in other cases and in general Java allows you to omit this if you don't say anything it just means of course it's this but it's not a bad thing to put it in there to get avoid being scared by it okay my visual scale okay can we run it now let's build it TA should be ready okay and let's let's run it okay here we go okay what do we see why are some people so much bigger than others mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah yeah um, Mm. so some individuals are obese and some are overweight but ladies and gentlemen and this brings us to our final challenge from the morning you'll notice there's really no correlation here between there's no association between obesity and and diabetes it's kind of willy-nilly in fact people are becoming diabetic at frightening numbers okay so what we're going to do ladies and gentlemen is to is to put in place a mechanism to have this